feeling good, feeling great. Cause I got a big ghost smile upon my face. Okay guys, so I'm out of my appointment. It's 4.30 now. The glucose test was fine. Met with my doctor. Everything was fine. They basically just measured my stomach. I'm 24 weeks and one day. Um, and then they did the Doppler. And then he Wait, told guys, me I had a hernia. Com comment down below. How many months is 24 weeks, bro? I think is it's five months. Four? <laughs> That's six. Okay, then I'm That's six, six months, months then but that whatever. doesn't make sense because she's due in July. I'm having a brain And right now it's March. Here. Yeah, everything went well. I'll check my results to see if I am like, what is the word? Huh? What is the word? Oh, pregnancy diabetes or something? Gestational diabetes. I'll check my portal to see that result. And then they also did an anemia. A test so yeah everything went well we're gonna go eat now so yeah 24 weeks and a day we're steady riding oh she told me I had a her he told me I had a hernia a umbilical hernia and I'm not gonna lie I'm a little traumatized because I have like a full-on Audi and I've had an Audi since way early in my pregnancy but with novella I did not have an Audi and I do and he told me it was a hernia and I was just like, what? And he's like, yeah, you can get it fixed after you give birth, after you're done having kids, don't worry about it. And I'm like, yeah, so. Good morning, everybody. So it's the very next morning. It's 6.30 right now. Uh, after my OB appointment yesterday, we grabbed a quick bite to eat, went home, and then everybody fell asleep. So I was supposed to do my grocery re-up yesterday evening, but since we all fell asleep, I had to wake up super early and go do it. So I'm just getting some things and essentials for uh, Novi and my lunch today. And then um, I have to go pack everything and then go take her to preschool I never got to share this with you guys but novella has been in preschool for uh, the last like you know preschool season this like since what September actually yeah she started preschool in September with the wedding it was so so crazy and cool and she goes with her current Sunday school teacher so it's really sweet it's a little Christian preschool but then after this she'll be homeschooled so in the future I would love to do like a formal like you know preschool morning routine but right now we don't have the time for that girl I gotta run in here and go get some stuff so let's go and then I gotta go pack it <laughs> drop off what I do while she's at preschool just depends sometimes I'll stay by her school and go to the coffee shop and edit other times I'll come home and straight up nap girl okay with this baby I've been getting my rest okay other times I'll be here hanging out at home in the prayer closet but today I'm focusing on cleaning her room because since baby girl's coming in 16 weeks which is so crazy you guys we've been like downsizing decluttering and getting rid of stuff so i'm actually supposed to i just remembered i'm supposed to drop stuff off at the thrift store today because i just did a huge purge so that's what i'm doing just kind of going through novella's room and then sorting everything but really quickly i wanted to show you guys the few things we got from the thrift store uh we went a while back but i didn't show you guys everything because we hadn't announced the gender of our baby yet but obviously we're having a baby girl now so i want to show you guys the few things that uh, we did get. Um, it was so fun to watch you guys comment and guess what we were having. It did seem like we were having a boy because what I showed was very much gender neutral, but as far as the books, they were all biblical books and then yeah, but we're having our second girl. So this I showed you guys, but I only showed you the back. These are my favorite. We had these with Novelli, and not only does your baby look so cute, but they're so easy for diaper changes, and yeah. So this is the front of it. Why I couldn't show you guys, because there's a little crown on the elephant for a little girl, and I got some organic little onesies for her, because she'll be here in summer, and look how cute. It's like these little pastel colors I love. Just these simple little neutral kind of woodland animals, which are so adorable. You guys saw this. This one in the video but Novi picked this one by herself and look it's two little baby sheep so it's like her and her sister which I love so we have all the major baby stuff we need we have a bassinet a pack and play a high chair for when she's older a bouncer for when she's older even like a doorway bouncer we have a bathtub 
I do want to share with you guys some things we're looking at getting and some things we're going to focus on for our baby sprinkle. So here's a photo of this we saw at Walmart the other day and we already have a bassinet. It's literally right here all set up. But Chance and I like this one and he likes it because it's more modern looking. This one I could show you guys it was Nobis. Uh, it's just plain white but this one is like one of those sway ones and it really wasn't that expensive at all. So we're kind of looking at getting a different bassinet and then also for this baby we definitely need a new breast pump. I want to see if I can find uh, the little cordless pump and then these bottles specifically I saw an ad for these on Facebook way before I was even pregnant way before we were even trying and um, I love them because they resemble of the breast so accurately and like I'm a breastfeeding mom I breastfed novella for a long time and I plan on getting these and I just love these like it really mimics it so well anyway that was my quick little haul whenever we do shop more for baby girl i'll definitely show you guys i really want to go thrifting again for more of her clothes because we have all of novella stuff basically from when she was little because i saved all of her outfits because they all hold memories but i don't want the girls to share everything you know like that's it. I'm going to get to cleaning now before I have to go pick up Novi's because my preschool mamas know that you don't have a lot of time at all. So... <laughs> cleaning now because I like to make my lunch and then eat it while I drive to go get her but I was able to clean one area of the room so this is what it looks like by the way the girls will be sharing rooms so we're going to be completely swapping this furniture we have white and pink furniture for them uh, we're not going to get rid of it maybe we'll have another kid and it'll be a boy or it's just good stuff to use but she's definitely out of her baby shark face so I know that her theme in her room does not match we get it but it'll be swapped soon for her and her sister. This was under her bed and she wanted me to switch it out. So I rearranged furniture and set up her new things and organized her toys. And it's nice because this cubicle I got off Facebook Marketplace and the rest of the girls' furniture will match because it's all just solid white and pink. I wanted to show you guys, I mentioned that they make Christian little golden books. So we have Noah's Ark for Baby Girl. We also have the story of Easter and the story of Jesus. We've thrifted all three of them. So I'll see if I can find them for you guys. But this is just so like literally the definition of iconic and so powerful and sweet that they have the gospel as the little golden book. So I just wanted to mention that because I mentioned it in my previous vlog. And then this was the last little area I was able to clean for her, just her little bookshelf. Mm -hmm. Friday, so happy Friday everybody. Uh, we are currently at Starbucks. Dropped baby off to work this morning. Um, and now me and Novi have some time. So I'm just gonna stop by Starbucks and then we were in a rush today. So I also brought all of her like hair accessories so I can do her hair for school. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do your guys' double smoked bacon and cheddar sandwich, please. Absolutely. What else for you? And then for my drink, I'll go ahead and do a, um, let's do a, a grande dragon drink with the coconut milk, please. Yeah. Anything else? Um, and can I get light ice on that? Of course. And then I'll just do a venti water and then a pup cup and that'll be it. So the past few days, I have not been feeling good, so I haven't vlogged. I don't know if it's just like, you know, pregnancy sickness or if I was like dehydrated, but I literally almost passed out yesterday. Um, and like just feeling overall like so weak. Y'all, I feel like the lighting is really playing me out, but Novi and I had our little Starbucks morning date, and then we went to her school. I did her hair in the school parking lot. I dropped her off, and now we're at the consignment store. I told you guys earlier in this vlog that when I go shop again for baby girl, I'll bring you along. And last night, the consignment store just so happened to send a text message about the sale they're having today, which is you can get 50 onesies anywhere between 0 and 12 months for $12. Five zero 
for 12 like but I know 50 seems like a lot and I feel like my best strategy is to get 10 different onesies in five different sizes of what I think I would need you know and then if I have extra I can give it to people um things like that but I'm actually so excited because you guys heard me say I want baby girl to have lots of her own things then my plan for the rest of the day is after this I may or may not have enough time to go get a car wash and vacuum out this car because y'all it's looking crazy then after that um i'm gonna pick novella up from school early so that her and daddy and i can have lunch together hopefully my back holds up because not only was i not feeling well i feel fine i had my breakfast i've been drinking water and everything but not only was i not feeling good yesterday i've been having some very concerning back problems so I'm a little worried about it, but with my pregnancy with Novi, everything was fine and I had like normal back pain towards the end, but immediately once I got pregnant the second time, I had back pain right away and my back is now clicking every time I walk. You can literally hear it's so bad and I have like this weird limp because I'm trying to get my back not to click. So hopefully she holds out. We have about 25 more minutes till they open, so I'll take you guys along. Y'all, I am so excited. That was so much fun. I'm gonna prank Chance and act like this was my receipt and be like, oh, I went shopping for the baby. <laughs> but 50 for $12, it was so awesome. I found so many good things. I was like tracking what I was getting on my phone and then I got the sale and then the only other thing I got, which I'm so proud of myself because I looked at everything, were these cute Converse for Novella. They're a size nine, so they're not gonna fit her, but they're so cute. They're like pastel space, and we love the Converse with the Velcro, and they're literally like brand new. So these were 11 bucks, so I spent a total of like $24. It was so fun. At first it was slow. They let us come in 15 minutes early, which was really nice, and at first there was like no one for the first like 30 minutes. And it was super calm and then i realized i spent 30 minutes outside looking at the smaller sizes which they have a plethora of and i needed to get inside to look at the sizes that they have a limited inventory on which would be like six months to 12 months they only had a few things y'all when i went in there the girls were going crazy i was a little stressed out and i just had to squeeze in there so i got so many good things i'm so excited and yeah now i'm gonna go get a car wash So we haven't made it to the car wash because Chance texted me and he's going to just go out with his co-workers because they like to go to this little fry stop, like fast food joint on Friday. So I was like, okay, so Novi's going to be a little sad, but that's fine. Instead, I went to Hobby Lobby to look just for, actually, I specifically went in there to look for a toy that Novella wanted, but they didn't have it, of course. Um, but then I looked at the Easter stuff, so I'm going to give you guys a Hobby Lobby haul. I also got a little snack because when I was in there, I started not to feel well again. Like, literally, you guys, it's like I can't feel my feet when I walk. Like, it's almost like I go numb, and then I feel like I'm going to pass out. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I got some stuff for the classroom. So first and foremost, all their Easter stuff is on sale. Easter is going to be next weekend, so we got to hurry on up. I got this. I got this actually so on Easter Sunday we can kind of use this as part of our lesson, like a visual. Um, but if we have enough, then the kids can also do this as well. But there's only 12 in here. So I got that. I also got these for the kids. My problem is, is I've been teaching for four years on Sunday, and I go to Hobby Lobby and Mardell for pretty much all of our classroom stuff whether it's prizes for the kids or anything that has to do with any of the holidays I always get their goodie bag items from these stores so we basically used everything and we've basically done every Easter activity but this one is new excuse me and it's just a cross fuzzy art these were the goodie bags I chose this was awesome all this was 40% off the focal point is on Jesus, right? His death and his resurrection for the kids. So I didn't want to get anything with like bunnies and stuff. So this is just giving spring plaid. So these are just the little um, push pencils for the kids. And they have crosses. They say rejoice he lives. Like how cute. So these will go in their goodie bags. And the rest of the stuff is for Novella. So we have almost all of these puzzles that they sell at Mardell and Hobby Lobby. But she doesn't have this one. So this will go in her basket. We also got her this interactive sticker book. And it's a story of Easter. And what I love is on Easter Sunday we can go through, read it together. And then she can add all of the missing stickers which will be fun. And she loves doing like puzzles and stuff like that so that'll be perfect um 
also for her i found this cute bracelet and necklace set like are you kidding it is so spring i love it and last but not least i got baby girl a little frame this was only four dollars novella has one just like this that my dad got her uh when she was in the womb but hers is gray so then when i saw this it was right next to novella's gray one i was like oh i have to get it for baby girl so her first little ultrasound frame And I want to show you guys how many onesies we were able to get. So this is what all 50 looks like together. I'm obsessed. I have already set some aside to donate, but I'm going to wash these and then you guys will see like a whole entire like prep video. But yeah, this was such a good deal. morning guys I just wanted to give you a little snippet of my morning so it's now Wednesday so Novelli's at preschool I just dropped her off and I decided to stop by Dutch and they have these new drinks so this is a rebel lizard with boba I was debating on getting this boba drink or their new coffee one but I just wanted something more refreshing so it's pretty good right now I'm going to quickly stop into Dollar Tree to see if I can find any more Easter goodies for the children's ministry or novella and then we're going to head to TJ Maxx in a little bit to see if I can find some maternity clothes Alright guys, I am going to end this mom vlog here, but I do have a few things to show you from today's errands and also on Monday. I was so busy this past week, I didn't even get to vlog everything. Like, we were so busy at church. Uh, we were at, it was Palm, it's Palm Sunday, or it was Palm Sunday, because it's Holy Week. So we had a whole wonderful day with the Lord, but I wasn't able to vlog everything, but I'll put some footage here. Um, and then actually on Monday, I went on a girl's day with one of my good friends, Carmel, and we went and had lunch, and then we did the Goodwill bins, which I haven't been to the bins in like a year. So I just want to show you guys a few things that I did get. I was disappointed at the bins because normally I literally have to decide what I love more and this time I kind of just got a few things because it goes by weight so I wanted to make sure it was worth it and I only spent 17 bucks but nonetheless it was a great girl's day so before we end this vlog I want to show you guys what I picked up um so from the Goodwill bins I ended up getting these Melissa and Doug toys this goes to the huge market I got it for the classroom and there's a bunch of stuff in here that was like one of the random things I got this is also random. There was this huge pack of these brand new mini erasers. I got these for Novella's prayer closet and her Bible study bag, but also for the treasure box at class. And then I got this. This is going to be Novella's Easter basket, actually. We have a ton of these around the house and in Novi's room for organizational purposes, so I just loved this. Such good quality. I'm pretty sure this, is for, this brand is actually from Target, and we get to reuse it around the house. After Easter, um, I did find two jeans. These jeans won't fit me till after baby, but I couldn't pass them up. I'll be so real with you guys. Almost all the jeans I own are actually from the Goodwill bins because they have so many good things if you're willing to look, right? And depending on the day. So I just got these. These are by the Athleta brand. These pants were my favorite. I only wear skinny jeans. These are some mom jeans by the Song brand and they're like totally distressed. And I just fell in love with them. So I'm going to shoot the shot once 
babies here. I'll be able to fit back into them. Then I just found some cute sandals. These were brand new. I love. And then I found this diaper bag. I didn't think it was a diaper bag because it looked so cool. I actually wanted to get it for church because on the weekends we are so busy going to two services, serving, and we have to carry so much stuff and my purse gets so full. So I thought, oh, let me just grab this bag. And then I realized it was a diaper bag, but I like it because it's like modern and it'll be good for chance, you know, and it's super spacious. And that's pretty much it for the Goodwill bins. Like I said, it wasn't that great. I also got stuff at Dollar Tree today for the resurrection and Easter baskets, but I will do that in a separate video. Um, and then my maternity haul. I was so thankful for Ross today, you guys. I've been looking on Amazon and the reviews are just so conflicting of maternity items. And it really bugs me to think that I'm going to purchase something and not be able to feel the texture of the maternity legging. Because if you're pregnant, like, you know, like, you just want a certain texture. And, like, you need to know that it's actually maternity and not just, like, an extended legging situation. So, anyways, I hit the jackpot at Ross. This is not maternity, but I got this for chance because I really need to organize our closet and his shoes. Because his shoes are so big compared to mine. I already have a shoe organizer so I got this one for him and then I got everything that I tried on in that video except for the biker leggings and then I got one extra thing those biker leggings were so cute but they were completely see-through and I was like we're not gonna do that so I got these two tank tops these are by feathers maternity which I really love the texture I love the feel and this kind of has like this structure on the side which is super perfect for a bump and I love this material for summer so I got black and white and these were only $4.99 a piece then I got those leggings which have pockets and you guys this texture literally feels like butter like I was reading on Amazon like butter leggings and this is exactly what I think they mean um and this is by the brand maternity Skyly. I'm not gonna lie when I first saw I was like eh. but once I tried it on I was like these are it girl it gives enough support so these ones are $5.99 I did not try these ones on but I did try the other ones on and these are the ones with the pockets and these were perfect once again by the little skyly these ones were $6.99 and then th these ones were $5.99 and then I found maternity jeans y'all I wasn't even going to give maternity jeans a chance because I just thought they looked so awkward and these when I put them on I actually was so happy I was like praise god I was like sending chance like oh my gosh I found my maternity stuff because I've you know been telling him how much I need it and we've been searching but I've also been kind of picky indigo blue if you are a petite gal these were an extra small you guys these are so awesome I'm so excited so I got me some maternity pants um $7.99 and that's a good thing about Ross too is I didn't want to invest a ton of money because you can get pregnancy leggings online not on Amazon easily for like $80 and I'm not doing that we're not doing it and then the last thing I got which I'm not going to show you guys were these technically high waisted shaping briefs but they are going to fit over my bump and I imagine it's just going to be so comfortable so that was everything thank you guys for tuning into this vlog be sure to comment down below what are you guys doing for holy week because by the time this is up it's literally going to be the middle of holy week I hope you guys all have an amazing resurrection weekend uh it's going to be so powerful I'm going to try to vlog um and thank you guys for all the love and support and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye.